How's it going, everybody? It is Thursday, December 14th. Happy Friday Eve, everybody. Um, we will be getting our Maestro DMX update, hopefully tomorrow. Um, this video I am capturing is actually a brief uh, kind of sneak preview of that update. Uh, the team ended up sending me the update ahead of time so I can get a couple videos captured for you guys to walk you through all of the different new features coming out in the Maestro DMX 1.1 update. Um, this video specifically will cover our network changes, that network config page that they've added into Maestro DMX. Um, this network config change will allow you to change the wireless network that Maestro DMX broadcasts. So if you want to change that to something more standard for your end, um, you can adjust that wireless network that it broadcasts. You can also join an existing wireless network. So instead of broadcasting Wi-Fi, you can have Maestro join an existing wireless network that you already have. And the third option there is you can set the Ethernet port to either be a static IP address, matching an IP address that you prefer, or you can set that Ethernet port up for DHCP. And I'll walk you through that page here in this video. Um, so over here we have our Maestro DMX window. Um, this is going to be that, and that is the wrong button, let's go back. This is going to be that version 1.1 update, like I said. So once you run that update on your Maestro DMX, uh, it will show version 1.1. One recommendation that I do make before you apply this update is do make sure you back up your stages and any of your custom fixture profiles if you have not already. Even if the update doesn't say reset, it's always safe just to make sure. If it is a major update, sometimes it will reset some things and it may reset your stage. Um, so definitely make sure you back up that stage. Any stages you've created, back them up. And that can be done very easily by going to the Stages tab here, selecting the stage you want to back up, clicking the three dots at the top right, going down and choosing Download Stage, and that will download a stage uh, file for you. Same thing with Fixture Profiles. You go to your Fixture Profiles, search for your custom Fixture Profiles. These are the ones with the little, little person icon over to the left there. That's a custom profile. Select the profile, and again, click that three dot at the top there. Go down and choose download fixture profile. Make sure you do this step before you apply that update. That way if there is any risk of your Maestro being fully reset, you'll still have those backups of those profiles. You won't have to go through and do all that work again. But today we are talking about that network page, so I will take you over to those changes. So with that update change, you're going to see a couple new options under that system menu. First option is going to be that Wi-Fi option. Clicking that option, you're now going to see a change to this Wi-Fi page. Over on the left-hand side here, we have Wi-Fi settings. And this is the mode you want the Wi-Fi to work in. By default, it's going to be that create a Wi-Fi network mode. It'll have that Maestro dash random extension for your device name, along with that My Maestro for the password. But over on the right here, you now have a site survey option. You can click refresh. This will refresh and show all the wireless networks within range of Maestro. Um, so what you will end up doing is you will find that wireless network that you want to join Maestro 2, and this is for those users that want to connect it to an existing wireless network. You're going to use this site survey page here. Find that wireless network you want to join. Once everything looks good, once that's the right network, click the join button here. It will prompt you to enter the Wi-Fi password for that network. I will enter that password here. I'll then click on save. And then you will be prompted. It will ask you, are you sure you wish to connect to this network? If yes, please allow a few six seconds for the system to restart. Now this is not a full restart of Maestro. This is a restart of the wireless network for the internal part of Maestro. So your system won't reboot. You won't lose your lights or anything during this period. It'll just take a few seconds for the network to join. But if you click on yes, you'll get that Wi-Fi settings update. And then after a few moments here, that will clear. Maestro will eventually join your wireless network. Once it has joined, you will be able to connect to the IP that it grabs from that network. Um, I'm still connected via the wired ethernet, but I'll show you here. Once it's actually joined, you're gonna see on this same page under site server, you're gonna see it is connected to that wireless network. And you're also gonna see details about that wireless network, quality, signal, bit rate, things like that. But that's how you show that you've successfully connected to an existing wireless network. And then once you know the IP address that Maestro is using for that network, you'll be able to connect to Maestro on that IP address. 
and I believe for this one it is 10.0.0.198 for me. Now this will be different for every person, but 198 is my wireless network, so as you see there, it is now connecting on that wireless IP address. So that is working as intended. Now, say you want to instead uh, change the IP address for the Ethernet port, um, and you want to plug it into a router, an existing network, either at a venue or you know at your home location. Maybe you have a router, you just want to plug Maestro into it. You're going to do that from, again, go to System, and this time you're going to go to that Network tab. What you're going to see is a few things on this Network tab. If your wireless is joined to a wireless network, you're going to see that wireless, those wireless details here on this network page. And again, there's that IP address that I said that it's connected to. It shows it's using DHCP for wireless, which is pretty standard. Um, it shows the subnet of that network and the gateway of that network. <coughs> Excuse me. And then on the wired Ethernet side, this is where you're going to want to go and change your settings for the wired Ethernet. So if you want to adjust the IP address that you're using, if you want to keep it static, but change that IP address, you can make those changes here. Um, I'm going to leave mine set to that 10.0.0.200 which is that standard static range that's connected to my router. But you can also change this from static to DHCP. Changing this to DHCP will then have Maestro connect through the Ethernet wire to your router and request an IP address. And your router will give it an IP address and then you'll be able to connect to Maestro using that router's uh, IP address, or the, router, the IP address that router gives Maestro. So you have a few options here. You can set, again, static for DHCP or DHCP for that wired Ethernet. Set your IP address, set your subnet mask, and a gateway. Now, generally, you don't want to set a gateway here unless the network is a network that has Internet access. Um, but if you do DHCP, it will automatically pull these values down for you. And there is one other item you can set here, and that is the host name of the device. Setting this host name will allow you to access your device using that specific host name. So you can rename that to something else. So if you don't like Maestro, you can change it to something else. You can do like Joe's Maestro or My Maestro, whatever you want to use for that host name. And then you'll be able to set that and you'll be able to connect using that host name address. Now this may not always work for some for certain devices. That host name address is broadcast out to the network. If your device receives that broadcast announcing that my name is Maestro, you'll be able to connect to it. But otherwise you still always have that option to connect using the IP address that Maestro DMX grabs. So those are those two new network settings pages. Again, those are both found under system. You have that Wi-Fi option there. And again, that's showing you that site survey on the right-hand side where you can join an existing wireless network, as well as the Wi-Fi settings on the left. And again, you have that option to connect to existing or to go back to creating that Wi-Fi network. And again, you have those options available to you there on that Wi-Fi page. And then on the network page, you have those settings that show your wireless network and its details. So the IP address, subnet mask, gateway, whether it's using DHCP or static there. And then you have that wired ethernet, again, static or DHCP for those options. Your IP address, your subnet mask, and your gateway if it is static. If it's DHCP, it will just fill in those details, but you won't be able to change them. And then you also can change your host name of your device up at the top here. So hopefully this video was helpful to you teaching you how to get that Maestro connected better to your home network, um, either broadcasting your own wireless network, connecting to an existing wireless network, or connecting over Ethernet and setting those settings up. I'll be both pulling another video here momentarily, talking more about those fancy features that are added for gobos, for color wheels, for all those, all those fixtures that currently you may not get a lot of functionality out of with Maestro. This new update, you're going to see a lot more functionality out of those fixtures. So look out for that second video, and otherwise we will see you in the next video. Thank you.